everyone. So before I even start this April Favourites video, just a heads up, my camera actually just died and has run out of memory and I would really want to film this video because like, I'm already four days behind. So sorry for the poor quality, it is actually filmed on my um, iPod at the moment. So sorry for the poor quality lighting and sound. I just wanted to get this video done because so, I have so many good things to show you guys. So, first up, I am going to start with like bathroom skincare kind of products. So, first thing I want to show you is the Pears hand soap. And for me, it is seriously hard to find a good hand soap because of my sensitive skin. I can't actually use soap. So, I have to find soap free soap. So, this is the Pears hand soap. And you can probably tell I've used like heaps of it. So, it's this pretty like ambery kind of colour. and it is, I do love it, it is very nice. So, it was really good to find. It's hypoallergenic and it doesn't have anything bad in it, which is good. But I was still really impressed with it, actually, because it still smells like soap. It has that really soapy smell, which I don't really... Well, actually, I don't use anything kind of soapy at all. So, it was really good to kind of bring me back, bring me back to that kind of soapy smell which I had been lacking for a very long time. So happy with that one. And as you can tell, I was almost out of it. So I'm going to make another purchase of that because I do love it. And it was the only one I could find. So <laughs> going to buy that one again. Uh, next up, I have the um, some face wipes, makeup removing wipes. So these are Olay Wet Cleansing Cloths. And they are for sensitive skin so this is like a seriously big package like look at this compared to my head it's like seriously big and they're really really good they're actually like the sheets are actually decent size and they're textured which is really good they're like they look like um cross hatching kind of thing so it's really good that they're textured because it kind of gets into your pores and really removes all your makeup which is really good so it was really good as well for me to find this because of the alcohol that is usually in face cleansing wipes um i usually can't use them or use I, I can use them but it would burn and sting my sensitive skin which sucks so it's good to find those um i don't recommend using them as um eye makeup remover i don't use them for my eyes anymore because they did sting a little bit and I wasn't going to risk it anymore with it. So I still use my, what is it, my simple liquid eye remover, which is still amazing and I still love that. But that is serious. This is really good for um, getting rid of all your face makeup, like foundation, all that. So that, they're really good and they're seriously inexpensive at the moment. And for Olay, for them to be inexpensive is a big bonus because Olay is really expensive um next it's on the ground so next up i have i have kenalog and this is for mouth ulcers mouth ulcers as you can tell by the packaging so i really have been loving this um, the start of the month, I had a lot of mouth ulcers, and it's not great when you have a mouth ulcer, to be honest. It does sting, and it does hurt, and you can't eat all acidy foods or drink anything hot, because it hurts. So, I have been using Kenalog, and I have been using this for probably 10 years. So, it does come in this little kind of tube. Um, it's really good, but I put this on before I go to bed because the consistency is um, a really creamy kind of buttery consistency. You need the tiniest, tiniest bit for it to do its job. This is one of those less is more kind of things. So it seriously takes like two days for your ulcers to clear up. So I do love those. It is a bit pricey. I think it's about 11 to $12. So... But it like that lasts me like six months, and it's so tiny, like it's good. So if you have mouth ulcers and you can get to your nearest pharmacy to get some catalog, I suggest you do because it is seriously good. Most people actually put on Bonjella, but that's for like most people think it's for mouth ulcers, but it's actually for babies teething, which is actually what it's for. So that is seriously better. It doesn't have the best taste, but it works. 
Um, next up, I have my makeup products. So first one is a mascara, and I'm a mascara girl, and I love my mascaras. So this is the Maybelline Define Lash Mascara, and it's seriously cool. Um, I just love it. I love the packaging. I love everything about this. It's bright, so it's not going to get lost in my makeup. I have a box. I'm not going to get lost in the box. And I do have a black one, and I seriously cannot find that. Like... <laughs> It's really hard to find in all my makeup, so it's really good to have a bright, like, this is almost neon, it's crazy. And what I also really loved about this mascara, actually, is that um, it isn't, a like, a bristle brush. The brush is actually rubber, which my old one was, like, a bristle brush, and it wasn't as good. So I definitely am loving these brushes. And this is in black. I really don't like wearing um, brown mascara, so this is in very black. And they also come in, like waterproof and everything, so whatever you want, they've got it. And this was $10 on, and I think they're going to be $10 regularly, which is really good. Um, next for like makeup, I have two eyeshadows. And these are Prestige eyeshadows, and I picked them up for $2. They were on sale for some reason. And I got pink and, not pink, purple and blue. Purple and blue eyeshadows. So I'll start off with the bl the purple one, actually. Um, this is called, this is the colour Amethyst. And it isn't shimmery. Like, the blue one is shimmery, but this isn't a shimmery. So I do love this. And this is a good light one for going out at night, actually. So I have been wearing this when I go out at night or anything. And the blue one is called Big Sky. And it is this seriously pretty blue. And this blue looks really light, actually, but um, it's they're both really colours to build up if you want a more of a deeper colour. So this actually does shimmer. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera. But it does shimmer, and it is really pretty. I do love this. And how can you go wrong for $2? So had to get them. Um, last for my makeup -y kind of products, I have my Revlon Lip Butter, of course. Love my Revlon Lip Butter. So, this one I have actually on my lips at the moment. It's in Strawberry Shortcake. And it's like this really kind of light pink. Which has been great. It's just like a staple for my handbag now. It's always in there. And I do love this. I featured this in a haul actually. But the packaging is amazing. That's what really catches my eye when I bought this. Was the packaging of course. And it does have the little window at the top there. So you can see what's going on in there. So this is Strawberry Shortcake in colour 080. So I do have another one which I haven't kind of really used yet. So that's my favourite at the moment. Next up we have a nail polish, of course. So halfway, not halfway, start of the month, I had a voucher to go into my local Priceline store and get a Hello Kitty product. I think it was $5 off. So this is a nail polish, the Hello Kitty, what is this? Excuse my language and French and pronunciation and everything. Sorry, it's... Um, Frixies Chic. So it's this really kind of like metallic y colour. It's kind of blue on screen there. So it's a very like metal y colour. Doesn't really do it justice. It's seriously, if you could have um, melted down metal or like silver and put it into a polish. This is seriously it. It's so pretty. And what else was I was really um, impressed about was the brush. Because there is nothing worse than like getting a nail polish and then having a really bad brush. So having a good brush for that was really good. So it is a beautiful colour and I have been wearing it. And it didn't stand out too much as I was really loving. So that's that one. And... For the other, kind of towards the end of April, it started getting really cold. So I kind of tend to lean to more warmer colours in when it gets colder in the colder months. 
So in Australia, actually, we are in autumn at the moment, so it is getting colder. And this nail polish is the NYC Platinum, which I actually have on my nails at the moment, probably better. So it's so pretty. It looks like a like a um, it's almost silver, but it's kind of got like a well, I guess it's platinum, so it's got like a bronzy kind of color in it as well. So it's just really good. It's not too heavy on my nails. It doesn't make them like full stand out as if they were um like fluoro or anything. So it's still a really good nail polish. Um. Oh, and it was my birthday, um, the start of April, on the 8th of April. So I actually, this is my birthday present. It's a perfume from my brother, Samuel. Who actually, if you want to see what Samuel looks like, I did a sibling tag with him in my last video. So I'll link that in the um, description by here below. Or maybe on here somewhere. Don't know yet. I'll make up my mind later. <laughs> so he got me the um, body shop. What is it? The White Musk Libertine Eau de Toilette. So I do love it. And the bottle is seriously cute. And it's really good as well. The glass is actually like frosted. So it makes the um, perfume look graduated. Which is really clever. So I do love it. I think it was a bit pricey. I think it's like $30. So it is a bit pricey. But seriously I love it. And it's very florally which I do love. And I think I read on the Body Shop website, I think it was, it actually has notes of um, Turkish Delight in it. So Turk, it's was really sweet. And I love sweet things. So it's sweet and florally and I love it. It smells pink. Like, <laughs> if, if pink was a scent, it would smell like this perfume. It's seriously pretty. So I'm so loving that. Thank you to my brother Samuel if you're watching. Thank you. Um... What else do I have? Oh, my other favourite is the ring I'm wearing, which I also picked up for my birthday. I actually got a birthday voucher from Sil um, Butterfly Silver, and it was like a $20 off or something, so I picked up a ring. And so I think it was about $30, and it's this one here. It's my opal ring, and I do love it. Let's see. Yeah, so it's a uh, human created um, opal and real silver and it is pretty and I love it and every kind of chance I get to wear it, I do. It's just the prettiest, prettiest ring ever. So that's that. So that's it for my um, regular kind of favourites for April, but I have my random favourites and biggest thing actually. <laughs> They are my Ugg boots! Yay! I actually went to Rivers, um, um, start of April I think it was, and I got my Ugg boots and they're so squishy and I love them. So, these are from Rivers and if you don't know what Rivers are, they're like, they're like a fact, they're a factory outlet in Australia and I think everything they do is Australian, don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure it is. They do clothing, shoes, swimwear, scarves, hats, like, and for like men, children, women, everyone. So, we, I went to my local one with my mum and we did a bit of shopping and I picked up some swimmers and a top and these boots, which is so pretty. These weren't on sale or anything, these were $30, but they're just like original Ugg boots and I love the huge button there. And I love the size of them too, they're not like a full on boot which goes to your knee which is regular for Ugg boots but sometimes I think if you're wearing like leggings or jeggings or jeans or something they get really hot and really quickly but then they also do ankle um, Ugg boots and they're more like of a shoe and you do feel your ankle get a bit cold so these were in between and the perfect thing so I actually was looking for the more lighter kind of tan colour but this is the colour Mushroom and I'm actually so glad I got this colour because I do wear them like all the time so they're not going to get as dirty quickly, as quickly. So I really love them and I love the button. So they're my boots and they were $30 from Rivers and they're amazing and they're just like regular Ugg boots for like less than half the price seriously because regular Ugg boots can go from like... 
they all like start at $150 I think for regular Ugg boots that are made in Australia and everything so yay that's all of my April favourites and I'm really happy to share it with you guys I hope you liked it um, don't forget the sibling tag I'll link down here somewhere um, hope you're having a good day I will do another video next week for you guys hope to see you then don't forget to subscribe guys bye